What's good everybody, I'm Blitz5, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about all of the new content coming to PUBG on console, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. Yesterday was May 21st, 2019. We had the launch of the PTS, which is the public test server, and today as I'm recording this video, it is May 22nd, 2019. And yesterday to celebrate the launch of all this new stuff on console and on Xbox, I decided to do a 10-hour marathon stream, which was absolutely crazy. So thank you to everybody that came in and stopped by. Took a little break for lunch and a couple be right back uh, breaks, but we pretty much made it 10 hours straight. And with that, I feel like it gave me great experience playing with all of the new weapons, all of the new updates, the server. And I feel like I have a pretty good impression of the current state of the game to give you guys uh, my opinion on this and kind of share what's going on. Hopefully this will help you when you get ready to play the game. And some people I know are waiting for it to come on live. And obviously there could be some small changes when this moves to the live server, but honestly, it's running pretty solid right now. This is probably the best launch of the PTS that I've ever seen uh, since I started playing PUBG last year. I know I'm on the Xbox One X with the SSD, so my issues are kind of minimum. But usually when PUBG makes a big update like this or launches the PTS, we can expect some bugs or flying cars, and I didn't see anything like that happening. And I didn't really hear anybody talking about that. The only complaints I heard about were people disconnecting from the game more often, uh, which is obviously really unfortunate, kind of like a system thing. I feel like that happens more on Xbox. Um, but I had my Xbox on for 10 hours yesterday, and I didn't disconnect one time so I don't know what really causes that. Sometimes people say keep keeping your Xbox on. Make sure you hard restart your Xbox a lot. That sometimes helps fix the uh, memory cache and resolve some of those issues. But getting into it, we got a lot of changes. This is the TLDR here. Let's just go over kind of the, the main weapon changes. And the new gun in the game is the MP5K. Changes to the ump, the vector, the M16, the mutant. And then we have kind of a handful of performance updates. I guess I'll cover that at the end if we get to that point. Uh, so let's start off. The first game I got on the PTS... I, was, I got Vikendi, which I was happy about because the MP5K replaced the vector on Vikendi, and I really wanted to try this out. I think this is what everybody wanted to play with. And this gun is really, really interesting. My short explanation of what this gun is, because everybody was asking me in stream, is it is like the micro Uzi on steroids. So it's a small weapon. Looks kind of ridiculous when you put a scope on it, like a holographic or two times. Um, and the damage feels like it does drop off sort of like the micro uzi but when you have this thing it takes every single attachment which is so much fun to kind of uh, just equip it and get it fully loaded like collecting all the parts for it um, it shoots like a laser and to me it was very accurate and powerful at a short distance nine millimeter weapon but again i don't really trust the nine millimeter weapons as much and i feel like their power is decreased on vikendi because of the amount of level three gear out there nine millimeter just does not shred level three gear like 762 does or 556 does obviously so i feel like these guns are kind of at a disadvantage but i was still able to play pretty well with this gun and i enjoyed it more than the pp19 bison i must say and obviously i'd rather have almost any gun other than the micro uzi but i do like playing with that gun from time to time and to me it was kind of like a good substitute for the ump which is now gone to the 45 side uh, so i really like this gun definitely check it out and also something that was so awesome with this update is that they merged all of the handgun items and accessories and the submachine gun accessories into one item so now the extended mag Go, works for the SMGs and the pistols. And I didn't realize this is also for suppressors as well. So now it's a lot easier to fully load out your submachine guns, which I feel like is a small little buff to SMGs because you can get these fully loaded faster. And SMGs need that buff right now because in my opinion, I'm all AR heavy right now and I've been leaning a lot more towards 7.62 just because of the shredding power. Again, to repeat myself, especially on Vikendi. Uh, so I feel like that's just a nice quality of life to the game. There's less equipment out there. You always were finding these uh, quick draw and extended mag pistol magazines that I was never picking up because I almost never use a pistol. So to have that all combined into one is really great. And they also did that with the bullet loops for the Winchester, the shotgun, and for the car 98. Then moving on to the ump 45. So I'm just going to say it right here. I don't think this gun is great. Wacky Jackie and a lot of people let us know on PC that this gun is not really worth using. He made a great video about it. I'll link it down in the description box below. Definitely check it out. He's a great content creator. You guys already know who he is most likely. And he kind of proved why the M45 is one of the worst submachine guns out there right now in the current state of the game. And I felt this right away. I mean, it sounds really cool. The ump shooting 45 rounds, 45 ammo uh, caliber, but it just, the damage drop off felt like it 
happened very quickly and the accuracy drop off. I was shooting somebody with, which felt like 50 meters away in Sanak. I'll try to pull up the clip. And I felt like my, my shots were going nowhere near them. I pulled out the vector and I headshot the guy running away at the same distance. So I feel like if you have the option, I would definitely go vector nine over um 45 in almost any category here. Um, the um 45 felt pretty good up close. I did get some nice over the shoulder third person kills with the ump. But again, as soon as I found the vector, because I was trying out all the new weapons to, uh, yesterday, I went vector nine all the way. And the vector with the extra ammo, uh, capability our capacity is really nice it's buffed up to 19 now with the regular uh regular magazine and then if you have an extended i think it goes to 33 and with the ump losing a little bit of ammo in your mind when i'm shooting the ump i feel like i have extra ammo because with extended mag it goes to 40 it only dropped to five but five bullets in PUBG is more than you think and i ran out of ammo a couple times when i wasn't really expecting i thought you know i could finish the guy off and i couldn't um so that's just my opinion stay away from the ump go for the vector then on to the assault rifles here so i'm just gonna let you guys know i did not play with the mutant i think i should have just for a youtube uh perspective but i don't like that gun and it didn't get any actual buff to the damage or the way the recoil pattern shoots it just got a uh, tax stock so if you have a tax stock obviously it's going to help the recoil but to me the recoil with that gun isn't the issue to me it's the uh the the velocity or the bullet drop off feels like there's too much of a drop off for a 762 ar you want you want that gun to play more like a dmr but to me it's not very accurate at that level every time i put a four time scope on it i feel like i'm just my shots aren't hitting where i'm aiming and then that gun is super super strong close range it's an absolute beast close range but it shoots single fire and two shot burst and a lot of times again in my mind i view it as a dmr and it just doesn't work that way so that's why i stick with using the m16 i've been using it a lot even before this update a lot of people criticize me for that but i think the m16 is a very underappreciated weapon. And now with the tax stock, it feels like the recoil is much more manageable, especially when you're on burst. That's what they gave the buff for. They gave a buff for the shots after your initial burst fire or the recoil after your initial burst. And then the tax stock also helps mitigate some of that recoil control. So put that thing on burst, start ripping shots. You'll feel like the first two or three shots feel much more controllable or first four burst shots, I should say. And I had a lot of success using the M16 yesterday. Definitely like that weapon. So that pretty much covers it for all of the major weapon updates. And then just a couple other things here that I wanted to mention. Also, I don't know what's going on here, but when you vault, it seems like the the uh, motion or what am I trying to say? The animation is much more smooth and looks a little bit different. So that, And I heard a couple other people saying that, so I definitely think they did something to vaulting. And it seemed a little bit more fluid to me. For the most part, I still had trouble vaulting through some windows and stuff like that. I don't think it was more of the action to, to vault through the window uh, or like the air area of vaulting. I think it was more just the animation, like I said. Uh, so let's cross that off the list. And then another lighting change. I just made a video about the lighting change to PUBG on console and characters glowing and some items glowing and the way that the light kind of travels through some of the buildings now, especially on McKendy. And it looks like they've done something to the lighting again in this game. I'm going to show you guys a clip. Here is me with the vector. This is the silver plated vector in a building or in the shade. And you can see it almost looks more like bronze or gold. And then when you go into the light, it appears silver. And this is something that a couple people I was playing with noticed right off the bat. So I know it just wasn't me. And it's a big enough change that it's noticeable on the gun. So definitely something with the shade here and with the lighting, another improvement. I think PUBG is just getting uh, more, they're getting deeper into kind of how the lighting and shading works in the game, which is great for overall visuals and uh, optimization of the game. Or maybe it's not good for optimization, but it's just good for the visuals because I guess it's loading more uh, shadows and lighting if they've improved that. Uh, so that's that for the lighting change and also the sound rustling. So this was something that was included in the bottom of the update for the PTS is that there was gonna be an improvement of kind of the rustle noise of the equipment on your body when you're walking around and changing weapons. And a couple of people I was playing with shot at the day day and uh, someone else mentioned it as well, that it almost sounded like when they were running that they had keys in their pocket. So you're definitely hearing a little bit more noise on your person, which I know for some people who are hardcore audio uh, people when they're gaming and playing battle royales, this might bother them a little bit. It didn't bother me, but I did notice it from time to time and just adding to me a little bit more realism to the game that you're hearing some noises of the equipment and stuff that's attached to your character. So that pretty much covers it. Those are the major major changes in my opinion that um, you know affect the game that I experienced when I played yesterday. Again, no major bugs. PTS feels great. This is going to be going live May 28th. I really expect it to hopefully go live on time. Hopefully they won't change too much. I don't see any issues yet. Again, Xbox One X SSD, 
the best possible performance for Xbox. Um, let me know what you guys are experiencing. If you have any issues, if you're playing on the OG Xbox, if you're going to say, if you have an issue, let us know what your setup is, PlayStation, Xbox wise. And again, if this video was informative or you guys enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, put a thumbs down. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching on Blitz 5 and peace out.